Hello, mic check, check one, two. Hi, hi, hi. How are you all doing? How is everyone doing, Ashley? I, for one, am doing fine. Hopefully you all are doing fine as well, because I am the Modern Day Mage Boy from Lions Hero, here today with more Undertale Yellow. And last time, last time, we beat, finally beat Axis after like an hour. It's something I noticed, by the way, that what happens now basically is a boss or some boss comes, I get stuck there for an hour, and then I move on. Which, I hope it won't take an hour every time, but it's kind of looking like that's the case, so, yeah. Well, I guess I'll try taking the boss fight more seriously as they come, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, without further ado, let us get on with it and carry on. Okay. So, just moving around with Clover. Don't know what I'm doing, actually. Well, you're going left. That's what you're doing. All right. Okay, dokey. Lemon pokey. Ravioli. He's a proper Tilly. Hmm? Looks like it doesn't work, Soroba. Hmm? We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Next stop, the lab. And what are you planning to do at the lab? Starlo, what are you doing here? The gang and I were planning a return party for you. That was a great idea, especially for Kanako. That's... very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. And what are you find while it's cleaning? Um, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trap door. An entrance. Saroba. What's actually going on here? What really happened to Kanako? I don't know why. You scared me. Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up! Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. You were planning to use my soul, weren't you? Planning to use, were you planning to use my soul to give Kanako a stronger body, hmm? Turn her into a boss monster and all that? Hmm? That what you're planning to do? I... I have to go. Clover, come on. Saroba! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. Thank you, guys. Yep, just flop me back with down, sure. Uh, I'm never traveling via laundry suit again. Hey, you're back! Yeah, there you go. And Clover, too. Uh, I was worried really sick about you. Where's Star? Cerebro ran away, so he chased after her. Alone? Why'd you let him do that? Star knows her robot more than anyone, Mari. Well, not so sure of that anymore. Clover! Mari messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped the, what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Mora? I just thought she deserved to know. She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Saraba's old house. What was it? We didn't have time to look over everything closely, but it raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belonging to Chujin. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. You're really putting the fate of everything in the hands of a... Can't be older than 12. I have no idea how old that he is, but can't be older than 12. Fine. Just stay on track. I can't have them running away or nothing. You know the way? 
I believe so. Okay. Well, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. Hey, uh, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Sarova take you. I just... I really thought I could trust her. We all did. No worries. All of everyone did. And what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, you say? Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll... I'll let you leave. Just head to the Oasis Valley. And nice to see you again, by the way. Let's stay on track, okay? Let's stay on track, okay? Alright, we'll head to the Oasis Valley. Plan to take my soul, wasn't she? I bet she was. Okay. I'm wishing well with a large amount of tea inside. Sorry, I can't help but interacting with everything I see. I'm sorry. You need to stay focused. Let's not bother others with our problems. Okay, okay, okay. I get you. It is important. So, um, yeah. So let's just go through this fancy hallway that I still don't know why it's so fancy. Alright, alright. I have no idea what to want to room house, by the way. You better know, because I don't. Oh, we're in the Oasis Valley. Where to now? This is the convenience store. Um, is this it? No? Oh, I have no idea where Saroba's house is. So, um... Ah! This would be it, yes? Yeah, with names like Kanako and stuff. Yeah, I think this is her house. All right, let's see what they f the feisty five found, yeah? Mm hmm mm hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. I wish Chujin invited me over back in the day. His house is incredible. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. Wait, can I head back right away? as well, though there's no shops in the Oasis. Is there a UGPS nearby? If not, I'd not, if... Okay, you can. Oh, there isn't any shops in the Oasis. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm, just so you know, Marlon, I only have one healing item left, so, uh, yeah. You better be able to help keep me alive if I'm not allowed to buy anything. Let's check the left path first. Alright, then we'll check the right path. I'm guessing we have to go inside, but it ain't gonna stop me from exploring, you know. No, actually, no, whatever this is is stopping me from exploring. Alright, we'll head inside her house. A save point as well. How oh, fancy looking this place is. I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Hmm. I guess we can take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. Estate. The door is locked from the other side. Locked? Huh, strange. I guess I didn't start, took another route. Freshly trimmed bamboo plants. Freshly trimmed. Alright. The door here is locked, I guess. Oh, I was planning to go, um, whatchamacallit, outside, maybe find an entrance there, but... But yes, that's what I'm trying to do, actually, Marlet. There we go. Actually, trim bamboo. A bedroom. There we go, family photo. 
Zero. Zero, but you gin and tonic. I can't stand looking at that. It's let's just move on. Okay. You search the nightstand. You find a fold up PSA, which you stash in your mailbag. Dear citizens of the underground, we are calling for fallen down monsters to be sent to Hotland for important scientific research. Should you choose to participate, your loved ones will be treated with the utmost respect, their condition heavily monitored, and you're regularly notified of their status. This is a chance for tragedy to be turned into opportunity for monster kind to finally see the light of the surface, thanks to its citizens' invaluable bravery and sacrifice. For your consideration, Royal Science Division. Yeah. Yep, yeah, for Alphys' determination experiments. Sarah buzz many outfits hang in the closet. You can see someone else's clothes in the project behind the front row. Sarah Bud knows what she likes, huh? Usually I'd be envious of such intense resolve, but I'm not so sure it's a good trade anymore. Fair. It's empty. You mentioned something about the basement head in Starlow. You open the refrigerator and find a leftover corn chowder. Take it. You that hungry? Um, alright then. I suppose she won't miss it, right? You got some corn chowder. Corn chowder is 15 HP. Three gold leftovers from Cerebus Fridge. You reach for the knife on the counter. Nuh uh! Kitchen mess with knives! Kitchen mess with guns either. And I have a gun, right? I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. Maybe. <laughs> you stare at your reflection in the sink water. How many trials you've endured have taken their toll on your appearance? Really? Clover looking that rough? Well, yeah, I guess you did die several times. A reminder of your duties back home. Part of you wonders how everyone is doing, but the other part is moving on. Really? Mom, does you have a big family back home? I do remember you saying your wherever you were was a bit cramped, so maybe it's a big family life thingy magic situation. Who knows? Hmm. An old fashioned gas oven. Best kept turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. Uh probably. Did you miss any more secret passages? There we are. The Founder's Crest. Decisive, deter devoted, determined. I guess that's their family motto then. Decisive, devoted, determined. Alright, let's move on. Press a tree bamboo. The fireplace is making the already warm house warmer. In a climate like this, still it looks beautiful. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're in the dunes. What the hell? Let's just trim bamboo plants. There's no way to here, so I guess we're going left. Founder's Crest decides to so devoted, determined. The search drawers, just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. Locked. You open the drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. Hmm. I'm guessing this is Chujin's room. The cabinet contains thesis papers of many different subjects. Whoa! These are all typed on cardstock. How wealthy was Chujin? Unfinished robots spilled out from the box. Huh. I heard about Chujin's interest in robotics once. Guess this is as far as he ever got? Oh no, he got more, much more farther than this, Marlin. Gizmos and gadgets filled the desk space. Zooming over it all, a map. On the map are several pin locations of. This isn't Edward's talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Chujin's office, but. 
I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Uh, sorry, uh, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. I thought I'm guessing where the other five humans met their end, yeah? A drawer full of video videotapes. A label on the front reads, Home Movies. Well, I'm sure these are adorable. We don't have time to watch them. I gotta keep looking for whatever spooked that in Star. Dozens of books line the shelves. History, engineering, chemistry, all too advanced for you. Now come on, I made that dull. Expertly organized files labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Louis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Marlet. Wait, Marlet? You found another monster with my name? I can't believe it never came up. <laughs> Don't figure it soon enough, Marlet. Let's see, yep, this is the attic they were all panicking about. An old TV and game console gathering dust. The game case is a handmade coin with a cover flip. Surface Tycoon, it says. You should program a video game for a conical? Wow! Must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Console gathering dust. Okay. Several building bricks are scattered around the stuffed animal. It almost looks like he's watching me. I'm not sure I like this room. Well, the bed's being shined upon, so I'm gonna check that last. Books of a novice reading level lie in the basket. They carry similarities to books you read recently read. Aww, I remember reading those as a birdling. Not to brag, but I finished them all in one day. I may have exceeded my classmates by several grades. Sure. You open your dresser, your drawer, and see many neatly folded shirts. I don't think we need to look in there. A sturdy bed sits bathing in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork! Hand carved and everything. It's hard to believe Chujin had the time to craft all of this. Hmm. Or is this just Kanapo's room? Just give everything one, one more um, sweep over before we move on. Sorry, did the bamboo hold a clue? 
You opened a drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. Let me in! Let me in! Hmm. That's not it. <sighs> okay, chat. If you can help me out, I wouldn't be angry. an idiot. Both may be equally true here in this situation. Oh! I found something! This must be where they hid their meals. Huh? You found something, Clover. What do you see? Clover? Hey, uh... I need your help. You think something's under there? Alright then. On three. One, two, three! Hmm? Whoa! So that's what they found. Huh. Good eye, Clover. Old and dingy. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Really, you gotta let the kid go first. Alright then. What's here exactly? What did you find that spooked you so, Starlo? Oh my! What? what is all of this? Formulas, soul research. Hold on, look over here. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. You know, maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. I'll just watch this in clear the air. I know, Sir so Robot kinda runs all guilty like. Hey, what are you watching? Shujin. <laughs> Greetings. This is Chujin. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it as best to document my work. It is all for now. Signing off. This is Chujin. Today I travel to Snowdoo with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanako wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panic council ran up to me, saying that a human had entered the area. This human. The attack the monster Kanako was with. She was so close, she could have been next. No one was there to protect her. Not even me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. I died only one my trapping is down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. I guess one of the humans gotta attack your daughter. This is Chujin, unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured all my, all, all my into my project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could iron it out with a few more iterations. Why am I punished for trying to take our struggle seriously? 
feel as if I'm the only one who has ever gone chosen to live in ignorance. I told the robot I was retiring. Can't let her can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present. Plan for the future. Prove I can save monster kind and another way. This is Chuchi. After years of research, I made a breakthrough. Boss monsters, they may be the key to monster kind survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. Which means my soul is much stronger than that of the other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me? Like... As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involves the fusion of human soul and boss monster soul. From that, a serum would be extracted, which we could transform an average monster. Unfortunately, I have not garnered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This... It is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion, and I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul is deteriorating, and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Sorok. It's up to you. No one else will listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone with pure heart and corrupt you. If you contain your soul, but not just anyone, you must have a boss monster soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need. <sighs> Damn it all. First, we're willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else. Please. Our little girl, Kanako, she needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Yeah, so Chujin is dead, and final plan to create, to turn every monster into boss monster needed a human soul, which is why Saroba was planning to trick me and take my soul somewhere in Hotland. I'm guessing because Kanako had already fallen down, what she was planning to do was give my soul to Kanako to turn her into a boss monster. I think that's what I picked up from that. Oh. Oh my gosh. I never knew. He... Never mentioned. Clover, you have to go. Right now. Come on. So, you figured it out? Yes. Taroba was trying to carry out a plan she can left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster soul. Which happens to reside in Conical. To us about the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So Kanako is alive and well. Thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Cerebus sent her to the lab and close to remedy the situation. I had no idea. Okay, where was the last place you saw Saroba go at? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are you? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay with us, safe with us. She did accomplish her goal if Clover's nowhere to be found. You aren't going to let her accomplish her goal. And anyway, 
a lot of these is a tourist destination, a public place. The college probably knows you and this is the underground right now. If Clover stays here, they would eventually tear the town up. Better to be on the move, yeah? I... Look, I need to fly ahead to scout out the situation. So again, where did the two go? I don't think... Clover, you were there. Where did they go? The lab, most likely? I agree with the feisty five that... It's probably safer for me to stay here than to head straight towards her. But yes, they did went to the lab, probably. That lines up. Hotline, it is. Hey! I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Eddie. Clover's the only one who can put this to rest. <sighs> Alright. We took the Westmos elevator to sleep with us. We can use a lot of shoot to get there with her. The elevator's destination sets near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, well, you need to go too, right? You need all the help you can get. I appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the telephone happy like you always have. Okay, please stay safe. I'll try. Thanks for all your help. Even if you lock me in jail cell for an hour's on end. Hey, what are friends for? I can take a few things. I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me in the rooftop of UG Apartments, ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. I, uh... Wish you luck with this, seriously. Yeah, I bet we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. I'll be sure to save you a spot at our next nap time. Just don't do anything stupid. See you later, deputy. Oh, I don't know about going at this alone. We are playing right towards her. But I suppose if anyone can get her to stop, it has to happen now. Howdy! Long time no see, buddy. I've been waiting to tell you something. This has been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean it when I say... Told you so. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't find that up. And I know this is the part I tell you to ignore the robot, but I have a strong feeling that one sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all, that fox wants to waste your soul in a science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and get to you down our path. Easy peasy. Well, Pal. I guess what you want from me, Flow, is to finally just take her out of the picture, you know? Don't b not bother with her chasing me around and all that. I haven't been to this before. What is this? Chujin Kitsutane. The best of us. Ah, Chujin's grave. Shujin Kitsukane, the best of us. Hmm. Okay. Guess I'd best be on my way, wherever on my way is. I'm not entirely sure, even. Hmm. Again, I don't think there are any shops here. Hey, what are you off to, mate? Got a spice for a plus one? Just jumping around, of course. <laughs> I just, I think it'd be neat if I could, look, I could like to join your party or something, but I know you're busy and all, so am I. Things pile up, right? Life, of course. You're busy involves adventure and consuming wonderful treasures. My busy is more like making sure I don't miss my alimony payments. But nah, it's cool, it's cool. No need to stick around worrying about me. You can tell me all about your grand journey later. Maybe you could write a book about it, and I would like to be your editor. I don't know, just think out loud. Alright, I guess. Tomorrow, is it tomorrow already? I am never sure. It's hard to tell when you cannot see the sun go down. I don't think it is tomorrow yet, so I will assume it is not. Alright. Are you still on strike? Run along now. I don't see myself improving anytime soon. That you're still on strike. 
but that lodge is the nearest shop to be able to wear it. Something's going on in the old Kitsukane residence. Hmm. Notice an unusual number of monsters visiting. I guess there's never a bad time to pay your respects. Brilliant minds, the Kitsukanes. Have you seen your little saplings out of here? Well, perhaps I shouldn't call it little anymore. It's free to grow this without precedent. My lady botanical methods seem to be working better than expected. The meadow is sure to return to the... To the the meadow is sure to return in the coming years. I truly believe it. Patience is a virtue. You will get what you put in, but it may take time. Remember that. Alright. I'll try to remember that then. Let's see how much this sapling will have grown, yeah? Now there's a person here, not a sapling. Who are you? Through thick and thin over a time, the sapling is right at the bottom. That's a plant? It has a fedora. What was once an idea within someone's mind is now reality. A little hard work and dedication is all it took to make something special. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, please, don't mind me. Oh, that, that is a monster. I see some, just someone admiring this happening. I was only tending to this little fella. You want to talk more? Uh, how about the weather? Sure is a hot day, like always. Do you, um, air? I do. I breathe it all the time. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not in the top of the mood right now. M maybe later? Alright. Okay, I kind of still want to hug, but I'm in this way too deep. Don't make sisters, please. Over. You had your chance to buy the premium mug, but refused. Looks 
like I won't find a home anytime soon. Sorry, I don't make the rules. I don't think there's a shop in these mines, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm just going back and hope there's a UGPS nearby to, um, whatchamacallit, Oasis.
know, I hope I get to see Marlon soon. I have no idea what apartment she's talking about because there is no apartment in them, um, you know. In here is office spaces. Just hope Starlow's alright and all that. Okay, let's do this. One more cheeky save. The road ahead. Return to the laundry room. That's a laundry chute. Nah, I don't want to travel that far. Let's just do this. Should we really be riding this elevator? It doesn't seem to be the most, like, structurally sound elevator, I'm just saying. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, the chorus playing in the background. Nice! Is that Flynn the club? My agent and the problem is that I never got my dancer's license. I'm tired of putting in effort for entertainment. Why don't someone come along and spoon feeds fun to me? That will be the day. Guess it won't hurt to wait in line a little longer. Bro, can the club to let loose and look without waiting in line? It's crab hour is what they keep telling me. It's crab hour. Because there's a lot of crab like nature are putting me in a crabby mood. That and I haven't trimmed my fingernails in months. I could pinch someone so hard with these puppies. The moment crab bar ends, the moment I see the floor and get down. You can put me on that roll. Ah, it's El by the door! Ah, it is you! Welcome to my club! I'm glad I remembered to put you on the guest list. Now, join us in dance, will you? Please, no. Oh, right, I forgot you're not big on dancing. More of us send in little science, right? The history I have with those folks. We only used to live on top of the floor of PG apartments, North of here. Ah, that's where Marla told me to meet. Our side of the hall wanted to be full of high energy, while the other preferred the deafening sound of silence. We would go over the FDL for weeks, just another boredom that we had. Long story short, we all were working now. <laughs> Gone our separate ways now, we didn't change any comfort we choose. I sometimes wonder what that brand does up to. Oh, 
probably lives in some snow game. Ah, yes, um, that's a bad. If I were you, I would let loose and dance with us. One never knows when they dance their last. That foreshadowing. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm so hot, my words are melting away. <laughs> getting down, getting down. Crab dance, crab dance. Hey, hey, move with it. <laughs> I freaking suck at dancing. Because <laughs> you're having fun, man. Hey, you caught me chilling by my brand new house. That's right, bought the sucker. I've been down the dumps lately, so I thought it was time to move on. Do something nice for yourself, you know? I recommend doing something nice for yourself every now and then. It's therapeutic. Can't let anyone inside, got a crew doing renovations. They're installing the ladies' music production equipment, fancy stuff. Let's just say, you're gonna start hearing my hot beats everywhere. Whatever your struggle, just hold tight. Life gets better. You can't see past the large blackout curtains inside. Yep, this is round and round. And a bunch of bees. Alright, this is, this is, um... That is the stage to Metaton's play, right? And the club is his death machine. Well, glad old by Lagore got it for something better than death machine. A mighty roadblock stands in the way. As it would seem. As it would seem. Well, like we can't explore much of Hotland. Yep, this is the UG apartment. If Alright! This is called the Metaton Hotel. And, um, yeah, so this is before Metaton bought the whole place, I see. Just a regular wall, right? Just a regular wall? I think so. I think. I know that you can buy Clover's. In the base game Undertale, you can buy Clover's hat and Clover's gun from two ladies in here. Caddy and Braddy. They're probably not here and hopefully not selling my stuff, but yeah. Yep, just the dumpster. The swimming pool of champions. <laughs> Say so. No response. No response. Nothing but recalled gift shop products. You find a discarded hot dog in the trash can. Take it. You got a hot dog. Hot dog kills 20 HP. Food representative of your go-to insult. <laughs> Nothing but eviction notices. You discover some monster candy in the trash can. It's butterscotch flavored. Take it. You got monster candy. My at least my healing items are piling up. Monster candy heals 10 HP. The sweet smell of my butterscotch wash from the wrapper. There is a note on the door. Stranger, please stop eating the cat food I leave out. It's for a stray who's stuck in here with us, not for monsters. Thank you. Uh, I'm guessing that would be Caddy. Who knows what might happen from this point forward. Continue. to go I want to go back to the hotel itself please <laughs> oh well I made my choice and I'll have to lay on it you made it great <laughs> oh well guess we're in the end game now didn't even get a chance to go into the hotel itself oh well what can you do what if you <laughs> that large facility in front of us is the core the main source of power for the underground Behind that is New Home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Cereba and Starlow headed there. Guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer? The two could have gotten far and positive. We'll find them. Well, we'll... Yeah, it's all setting in now. This is like super intimidating, right? Not just me. I don't know when I'll get another chance, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul. The best I've ever met. Love them right, you've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. In a few situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Well, guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I could ever I only ever heard stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you can change my mind on humans, I know you can add you can ask for us. 
Having been confused with this Europa situation, we'll march right up to the castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't worry about me. When Monster Kind is freed, we'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? <sighs> if only things could end up that way, yeah? Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way west, new home. The elevator downstairs should take us right there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime? You ready? <laughs> a fist bump. Nice. Stop, Saroba! After you. So we do get to go into the hotel, hopefully. Apartment complex. We need to stay focused. Let's not bother others with our problems. Yes, hello? Is that the mail wheel with my package? Skip the ride me and leave it at the door, please. Yes, hello? Okay, so the same lines. Who's there? I'm in the middle of robbing this nice apartment. Come back when I've escaped. Alright then. Caution, slippery when wet. Caution, slippery when dry. The section of tiling lacks the friction and we do not know how to fix it. I know, I know, I'm being evicted. Slide the notice under the door and I'll add it to the scrapbook. Currently on break, I'm hiring a hard day's work. You resist the odd temptation to taste the mop flower. Mop water? It's probably mop water now that I think about it. A pot of plant. Ah, the path of the core itself is closed. Welcome to Bits and Bites! Buy something, will ya? I'll have 10 G, so I'll we'll just let you talk for a little part. Hey, Clover! I don't think this two can help us. We can be going. Help? Help what? You can be handy. What you hide? Oh, it's nothing. My, um, kiddo here wanted to look at your shop. Hmm. That's your kid? Why not? When did they get their fetters? Oh, hey, Boomer, you know how it is. Oh, what did he ever? Chris didn't get this mouth until age 9. Oh. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you, but we have ways to be you in that right child of mine. Finish up your business, please. Welcome to Bits and Pieces. Bits and Bites. Buy something, will ya? So, an item to us? But what do you think? No deal. No can do. Not in a hundred years. Hmm. Hundred and one? By that time, you'll be dead and I'll be running the shop by myself. Hey, that's pretty dark, Buttons. You live in a freaking cave. It's always dark. <laughs> Monster candy. Those are really fast. Damn it. That's for pretty good armor, actually. You can't afford it, though. But oh, there's where the band is now. Damn it. Didn't really get a chance to talk with the people. You know, it's a ranking sheet on the board. Winners of the Ashley Magma's movie challenge. Hyrule. Hyrule. Fastest time. Romy, calm and collected. Cinder has trouble but finished strong. He eats something. He forgot who this was. Starlo was only trying to impress someone. Fuku Fire was enthusiastic. No gold. Transported to a hot hill. Might be in legal trouble. Probably. Your destination. Ah, new home. He knows the schedule of upcoming map from the board. Name Metaton appears many, many times. The ruler of the underground. King Asgore. Oh, it was my mistake, I guess. And the old statue. There's an inscription on the fountain. Hopes and dreams. Gold 21X. You hear a faint melody coming from the statue. I'm guessing that's Asriel's statue, supposedly. To new home it is. Why 
why is my model looking that way? No, look this way, model. Okay, there we are. New home. Ooh, I can actually get to the streets of New Home, man. A map of your current location is just above the bench. The other ground is so much larger than you imagined. Charles, I know you've had a long day, but if the dishes in the sink are done, we can't eat dinner. So you can think about heating up a TV dinner instead, because you do not have the nutrition might have you need to get big and strong. Oh my, we've been quarreling so long, so we pass the time now. I suppose we'll have to invent a fourth meal of the day. Schminner. Oh, I love the sound of that already. Schminner time. Oh, you don't want to be a chef, don't you think, Charles? That's many easy things like a new attitude for you. Then a guy catch a break. He put me in the dot review all afternoon. I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in your weird soap. What's up with that anyway? What's wrong with the soap in the store? Can't even pronounce half the ingredients on that bottle by the sink. You, you ca Nope, can't do it. I just can't. Well, we even at the right station. Turn it on. I think we took the wrong elevator. See what happens when I'm stressed. I never should have moved to Hotland. Should have trusted my gut. This wouldn't have happened with their respectable elevator system. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a map over there, but I'm too angry to improve our situation. You're just gonna knock down every door in the street? A trash can, though. You dig around the bin and find a bottle of sizzling soda. Take it. But humans often eat from food. Humans often eat from garbage. Shoot, I can all the trash night on the stone and his allure. I'm only joking, of course. I can't judge anyone's culinary preferences out there today. You got some adult soda. What's in it? Adult soda. Heals. Hmm? HP. Transparent liquid with no smell. Nothing of use here. There's someone in the roof looking all edgy and shit. Alright, you enjoy your edginess. Ah, new home. Wish we could afford to turn today. I explore this place first. Yeah, we have to go north. We have to go north. I'm guessing, because Cloudy has a safe point north. So, yeah. Oh no, I'm closed! Come back bright and early for a scoop of nice ice cream. But I'm going east first, because there's no Cloudy safe point there, so I'm confident that it's not the way to go, so I can explore more. I think this elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place to remember to run to. Let's keep searching this area for now. now elevator to the castle, eh? Alright, let's go meet up with Saroba then. Wallet. New home. Starlo and Saraba. Saraba looks distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but worst comes to worse, we might have to retreat. Tactically, of course. Oh, let's listen in. <sighs> Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Saraba, I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Conoco is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. Not sure that's a good idea. Who oh, get in my way? Or what? You'll kill me. I'll. Hey! Overnight, we watch the tapes. You need to let this go. If not, why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home. No, oh, thank you for finding me. It makes things easier. If I were you two, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. Sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self righteous act, will ya? 
Just stop it. He can turn us around, Soroba. You said it yourself that Yanako's alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life? That's rich. I lied about Yanako's star. Had to. What? Calm down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no hope for her. You... I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know how to do at this point. Kanako... Kanako is a boss monster. She's the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy, his plan for the future, Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him? You've seen the tapes, right? You honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If you were here, the Chujin, the Chujin you knew? You knew nothing of him. No, I was right. You might have had some different views, but Chujin was kind. Whoever. And I know you are as well. It's just that right now I I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. When you want your soul, it's for the best. Not only Clover's, but the soul of your own. Shut up! You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where this high horse is coming from? Sound to me like we're in this bit together, said Roba. Please, just get out of here and let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover. We are going to ask Lars, and that's that. Don't you dare. Marlin, grab Clover. I'll keep Saroba at bay. Go. Now. Oh no! Son of a... Well, you tried, Marlin and Starlow. Uh, Clover, uh, I... Uh, I'm sorry for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then I could have continued to bury my sorrows in the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I have some to respect the hell out of you, but at the end of the day, you're naive. There's so much you don't understand about monsters. What did you think you'd jump down here and find them? What? Did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Come on, all three of us are injured. Just let it be. Five humans living out their lives unharmed. That isn't how it works. Guessing you discovered the truth, right? Then what? Does your Marlis plan to storm Iron castle for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? It only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. I wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am about to do the very same thing. I am a Liar, sure. But at least I... With Chujin's guidance. Can save Callan's monster lives. There's two. These two can understand that. And Asgore? Asgore is a coward. Don't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but he... He doesn't consider what will happen once he gets his soul. Too. They all believe victory will come easy, but the humans I've heard of, they are powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, they will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I am no better than Asgore in the scale of morality, I'm sure of it. What I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting, so I will see that it is done. Truthfully, 
I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. No turning back. Attack 13 defense 15. The legacy not to be forgotten. How do I dodge this? I guess stay in the middle would be best. Embarrassing. Okay. You're gonna let this backstabber win? Not on my watch. Take a breath. The road seems to slow, but only for a moment. Paralyzes me, so I need to move out of it. I see. I see. Can you let this backstabber win? Not on my watch. I start. Okay. Not even sure if I'm making any progress or not. I'm just getting my face smashed in because I can't find any openings. Hmm. Do you do that? So many attacks I haven't figured out. No. Ooh. Way too fast for me to handle anyway. Going every dance, every instinct I've built up.
dodge this? Oh, about it. Yeah, I get hit once. And I don't think it's... No, I, I don't know. I can't see how I dodge it all anyway. Huh. This child at this point. You just shoot back over. Ah, okay. So, let's come to this. My last resort. For Tujin. For Kanako. The future of monster kind. Wait, what's with this transformation thingy? The spinning gets me panicked. Just try to stay still in the spinning part. Stay still and be patient. Corners. I was trying to get the corners, hoping the spinning things won't get me, but that's not. You can't cheese the mechanic of the fight that way. Um, the time 
stop. I can't do anything. Um. Let's just this be done. The scarf and the beef jerky. They should be maxed out. Mayhem has been unleashed. Could have been worse. Your soul pulses with great power. The think of those you love the most be temporarily increased. getting to panic right now because even the simple stuff I can't dodge anymore. <laughs> no, that was my bad. Misread that. I should have went northwest, not portion. Okay. Clearly my focus is being strained to the limit because I can't focus on that many things. Okay. right on top of me. Okay. Oh! This again. Oh, 
together. Okay, hold on to your hope. Defense and morale increase. That wave is undodgeable. It's not red or in them. Or, you know, whatever. Take a sip out of the adult soda. Tastes like water. Dodge that last, that last thing by Sir Robot. There's a way that says F you. Sorry to do it, Sir Robot. Did I do it? Or is there some fight left in you still? Huh. What would you like to wear tomorrow, honey? Tom and Christina are paying a visit and bringing food, too. I'll help you and you can all enjoy a picnic on the front porch. How's that sound? Suraba? Yes? I don't... <laughs> this is all so pitiful. Hey, don't say that. I need to have everyone over. It could just be us. <laughs> Picnic sounds lovely. I want you and Kanako to have one surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... Gosh, you know, I never was afraid of it all in my life, and now that it's so close... No. Shut up. Stop it. Say it like it is, or don't say anything. I can't do this. Not now. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. We work. We never talked about it much, did we? We didn't. When I bought this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance is under the Kontatsu. Always has been. There I work towards a project. Bigger than myself. Bigger than all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I will like you to have it. Will you do that for me? I will. I promise you, I will. I have 
and tears from you since we met at the crossing. I, I saved them for moments that matter. I'm glad. Because this moment matters a lot to me. that were you in my head just now you have no right Sarah refuse to back down 10 HP oh that's a mechanic I have to slip the no that's not the mechanic no I no, 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 you don't slip through it, no. Because there's nothing to slip towards it. Right, right, right. Damn it! Too many things happening on screen and I panicked. Damn it. Okay. Walk straight into a fireball. Yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on dodging one thing, but I'm considering the other thing. That's what gets me got. I can't escape this! What am I supposed to do? Maybe I need to focus down the fox head. Well, she... Can't dodge them all! Hmm... can never get to the next checkpoint. You can't! There's no way to dodge it! How do you survive that? X? Do I press X? I might have to press X to think about it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, try that if that... Survive. You survive. Ah, okay. Let's do this. I'm dead. Or not? Oh, it's sucking me in. Uh, it looks like there's no set attack pattern for Saroba here. She just has a. This again, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, got a bit too excited learning the dash button. Oh no, the black hole's doing damage to me. Ah, I see. So you want to get out of the black hole. <laughs> okay, don't abuse the dash button, bro. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna be quiet by the way, that means I'm focusing. So yeah, sorry for the lack. that thing. A recipe in failure. Shame. 
shame. I made it pretty far in that run. Not giving, not giving me an easy victory, huh, game? <laughs> Saying like it isn't my fault. I see, yes. Whenever I hit their barrier, but it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's, uh, there's a thing inside it that's getting bigger, so I guess I just have to break it. I see, I see. Any more of this do we need to do, Saroba? Our little girl, Hanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Is that Kanako? Down here. Is, is it true? Hi. Hi. What? Why? Different? Conoco, I already said you would have run a long time if I wanted to hear. You'd still be. No, no! Your father loved me. I trust you to keep me safe. I... I 
do believe that I'm their fine man with uh, her. I just... Please... Promise you would make his dream come uh, true. I did. Uh, Very well. Uh, but I'll make this quick. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure, alright? Mm-hmm. Be the heroes of the underground. Oh, they see you and Daddy. Uh, uh, heroes, huh? Uh, that has a nice ring to it. Okay, wait here. You will need to stand very still for this. Close your eyes and I will begin the fusion extraction. You may fill up an inch or two, but it'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood! Believe in this, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <sighs> Love you lots. Love you more. No. No, 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 no. Why did it work? Kanako, wake up. Wake up right now. Mommy's here, come on. Hey. What? What have I done? So that's why you're so broken up over it. I kind of feel like it was your fault. So you know the truth now? Are you satisfied? My joy in making me relive my darkest memories? I never claimed to be a saint. I'm grinding in a sea of mistakes like everyone else. And instead of sinking, I'm shaking the one ray of sunlight peeking through the surface. I tried letting go, moving on. I guess deep down, I'm too stubborn to live like that. This is my fate. This is how it must be. Not too late. She robot shaken by memories. Hopes and dreams, I see. Use the back down. Huh? Oh! Oh yeah, this is very reminiscent of Azrael's fight. I can see why Hopes and Dreams is used. And I did. Well, I got to nerd out for a few seconds before I met my end. So that or something. You gonna let this backstabber win? Not on my watch. Simultaneously. So two to three. From what I see, it's two to three. Three attacks is making my brain short circuit here. Can't keep track of that many attacks. Oh, I was still in range. Oh no. Thought I was just outside of range. Oh well. The more you learn, you can't give up, Clover. It's time to take down Zoroba for good. Not nearly enough. Nah, there was no dodging that. But I think I think I may have an idea how to dodge a flame. I need to be higher in the screen if the dodge. How am I supposed to dodge that, huh? I 
I may be losing my temper a little bit. So the bombs are inadvertently serving the shields while I'm trying to bring her shields down. I have to blow up a bomb. I need to stay still, but I can't stay still because stuff is coming from down the screen to kill me. I see. Do those wave things? Oh, that is dirty. That is dirty, Saroba. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 If I pull to the black hole, I'm damaged. If I don't get pulled to the black hole, I'll get damaged by the waves. How do I dodge that? I think my dodging skills have actually regressed. Huh. Black hole, huh? Oh well, I'm doomed. There, I got paradise while I was in the wave. chance of surviving bone holes. Well, no, it's pretty obvious throughout this stream that I definitely would die over and over again, so, you know. Hmm. 
Five more tries, and I call it for the day. That's life five done for. Life four, I'll try focusing on dodging, not so much. Okay, that is life four. Or life two. Life two out of five. Life three. Life four. Yes, okay, that is my last attempt for the day. It's a robot a stream, but after how many is it? Three hours and 30 minutes of streaming, that was not the case. Two hours of those, I'm pretty sure, are spent just on Saroba. With that, we'll have to cut things off here at New Home. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have wonderful days ahead. As for me, I'm gonna take a break, drink a little some. Well, I'm gonna drink a lot because of my throat. And, 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 what else? I suppose not much. I'm gonna do some research. Because I think I might actually need some research help to beat Saroba. I have no clue how to beat her on my own. So, with that, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for Shishling Park Shishik and Master Beater for the follows this stream. Thank you all so much. Much appreciated. Well, that would be for me for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Alright? Okay. Have a good one. Bye bye. Let me put on my ending screen for you guys. Bye bye.